much catching red light runners using cameras. That's the goal of a bill making its way through the legislature. If passed, it would give each community in Wisconsin the right to choose whether to implement red light cameras and where. But concern about privacy and safety already has organizations trying to put the brakes on this legislation. It's a split second decision every driver makes. Traffic light is about to turn red. Do you stop or keep going? The Madison Police Department says too often drivers are gunning it. There's a high incidence of red light running uh, in Madison as in other cities and uh, the red light running uh, tends to lead to uh, significant traffic crashes. That's why the department backs a proposal to install red light cameras at some problem intersections. It's become a, a serious problem in some communities, Madison and Milwaukee in particular. State Rep. Therese Verso is helping bring the bill forward for the second time. Technology now allows the cameras to take a picture of just the license plate and after it's already entered the intersection on a red light. Generally what we refer to as true red light running is when a car enters a, an intersection three, four, five seconds after the light is turned red. But that's not the violations the red light cameras are catching, says Gary Biller of the National Motorist Association. Many are being caught in literally 0 0.2, 0 0.3 seconds into the intersection on red. Biller argues intersections with red light cameras actually lead drivers to make hasty decisions. Their first reaction is very much like approaching a speed trap, uh, which is their instinct is to hit their brakes. So the incidence of rear end collisions go up quite dramatically at these intersections. Yes, there initially there are more rear end collisions. However, those collisions generally aren't as significant in terms of injury as broadside collisions. Berceau admits the controversial bill may find itself stuck in political traffic. I hate to say it's not going to happen. I'm just saying right now it's competing with a lot of other things we need to do. Adding cameras is not free, of course. Cameras cost between fifty and sixty thousand dollars each, plus about thirty thousand dollars in administrative costs. The state would receive revenue from these tickets, which are about fifty up to fifty dollars per citation, Andy. Lots of interesting debate yes. in this bill. Where is the bill now? Well, the bill is referred to the State Assembly Transportation Committee. If it is eventually passed into law, it would then go to each city council, which would then determine if this community wants it, what kind of cameras to get, and where to put them, Andy. All right, some interesting information there. Thank you, Maria. Okay.